Warning, this show contains strong language and topics that some viewers may find offensive. Listen to discretion is advised. Rusev is helpless. And can you blame him? I don't know if this is going to impress the authority or not. Oh my god, oh my god. Roman Reigns. Super City. I am Andy Quad, and with me, as always, is Liam Dunn. I have a question for you. Take the fish. No, not anything about fish. Okay, but it is a genuine question. It's a little riddle. I found it online, and I wondered. I wondered if I could test Andy with it. So I'm going to go and test him with this. No, no. So, Mr. Quan. Hello. A husband and wife. Yep. Have four daughters. Yes. Each has a brother. How many people live in the house? Ten. <coughs> All right. No. Four. Four brothers and four daughters. Two. No. Each of them. You motherfucker. Twelve. <laughs> you fucking dickhead. So you're saying twelve? I'm saying twelve. Okay. Can you explain to me? <laughs> no. Wait. Wait. Each of them has a brother. Yeah. So the two. The mum and the dad has a brother. So that's four. No. <laughs> what? You said each of them has one. No, each of the daughters has a brother. Well, there's 12 there. No, it's 10 then. No. Why? There's four brothers, four sisters, two parents. No. I don't get it. Right, listen to it again. Okay. okay? A father and a mother yeah. Yeah. have four daughters. Yeah. Each have a brother. How many people are living in the house? <laughs> I don't fucking care. <laughs> it's a trick. You've got to answer the question. It's, it's, okay, four. Fuck it. Random number. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. You know that's not four. Nothing makes sense! It's a minimum of, of six. Six. We've worked that out. Six. No. Fuck it then. Eight. Right, I'll, I'll say it one more time before Seven. I give you the answer. Okay, right, really think here. A mother and a father live in a house. They have four daughters. Each have a brother. Alright. That's the question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A mother and a father live with their four daughters. Each has a brother. Oh, there's only there's six. No. Nope. <laughs> No, there's not four. We know there's not four because there's four daughters and two parents. So, so we know a minimum is six. So it's six. Nope. Each of the daughters has a brother. Who doesn't live with them. Because you haven't That's said that they live with them. Right, do you know how families work? Yes, I understand how families work. Just about, okay. yeah. My, my sisters... I have two sisters. They both... Have a brother, which is me. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you and fuck your riddle. Stick it up your ass, you stupid. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, I love it. It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> I have a degree. I just want to throw that out there. I'm not stupid. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell he's angry, so we'll go into something that he will be happy about. Right. It was about a week and a half ago. If you're watching Raw, the main event involved Dean Ambrose, Seth, not Seth Rollins, he's injured, 
Dean Ambrose, Roman Reigns, and Rusev, and other people who I can't quite remember off the top of my head. If you were watching the main events of the show, you might have spotted a little sign in the background. Yes, there was a sign in the crowd, and it said, The Supla. Now, I woke up that morning thinking, why do I have seven text messages and a load of yep. Facebook messages? Yep. Nothing good is about to happen, something. or something brilliant might happen. But I, I genuinely was like, oh, shit, what's happened? Because I just woke up and I had, like, I didn't have a lot of Facebook notifications. And then I woke up with, like, ten and I was like, what is happening? Yeah, something bad has happened. Which, for, for us, is a lot, can we just say. We're very sad people. Yes. So, basically, yeah. Um, if you haven't heard, because we tweeted about it and Facebooked it and... And it's on the site. And it's on the site. Uh, a fan... Fernando, at least learn the names, Andy. I was going to get on to that. Jesus (laughs) Christ, let me speak. A fan called Fernando (laughs) decided he was a huge fan of the show. So he was like, fuck it, I'll bring a sign. And he brought a sign to not this past week's war, but the one before, because we've had technical issues, because Skype's a piece of shit. Um, And... He brought a sign, and it was the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life. Because and it, it just it said the Supla. But what was brilliant was that when when Ambrose had Rusev, he was holding Rusev, and Reigns was coming round, and they were going. It was just before the spot with the announce table, and as they pan round, the camera pans, pans with them, and there is clearly Fernando holding the Supla sign, and Dean Ambrose, being a knob, blocks it, but. Um, it was it was amazing to see. It, was, it truly felt like it, you could see it massively as well. And apparently, Keelan said that the Google search for the Supla went up, which is always good. Um, so it, it was only positive, and it's I've turned it into my Facebook banner because I have to. It was just too awesome to not. Um, so much obliged to Fernando. He will be getting a special prize, which. I have yet to decide, but once I do, I will let him and Sam know, because he knows Sam better than the rest of us. Sam is more interactive with the fans than we are. It's kind of good that they that we left it a week, because then we could re... I could watch the latest episode of Raw, and they were doing, obviously, the hype video of what happened in the previous main event, um, and I was like, oh my god, will we see it again? Will it be in the, in the latest, in this hype video? Uh, but no, no, they cut it out, so clearly Vince Googled what we are, and he was like, they're not having any exposure. The damn it. I hate that uh, little fucking midget. Fuck him. They keep saying fish, damn it. <laughs> I don't understand what fish is. <laughs> what is fish, damn it. <laughs> so, yes, subsequently, we weren't in the, re- the, the hype video for the next episode of Raw. But, nevertheless, we were in the Raw main event, which is higher than The Rock. Uh, something I never thought we would say. Yeah, but it's true from a technical standpoint. It's true. So, but uh, yeah. So we want to thank Fernando. We want to thank all our fans who listen. Uh, we appreciate all of it. Bring more thank signs. You. More signs. You might get more free prizes from the Super Crew if you get caught on camera with a Super Sign. But let us move on. Just before we go to the news, though, I want to talk about my good friend, my co-host, my partner in crime, of course, Andy Quan here. Andy Quan. How are you, good sir? Hello, I'm good. So, you like to remind everybody you have a streak. I don't. Right, here's the thing. I don't remind people. I People remind me. I don't like this I thing. Do. You bring it up in every episode. No one ever talks about it. And you're always like, yes, and I hate Rusev because I have a streak. Like, <laughs> you bring it up for no reason. That's not a sentence that I've ever said. <laughs> Bring it up for no reason. Bring it up for no reason. So, I decided, right, I'm going to try and kill this thing because all he ever talks about is a streak and I'm sick of it. I just, I don't want it anymore. So, I decided we're going to go to Bristol. Uh, Me and Andy and my girlfriend and one of her classmates decided to take Andy out on Saturday night. And Andy got pretty damn drunk. I was fucking hammered. To the point where he was starting to shout, it's a fish, really loudly down the street <laughs> for no reason. He was going past random strangers, God's honest truth, going past random strangers and just going, 
take it, take the fish. And then walking <laughs> off. <laughs> but probably one of my favorites was that whenever you asked him a question, he would just go, he would try and answer it, and then the ending would always be, and his name is Garcina. Always. To the point where he was doing it on the bus, and people were actually stopping and looking at him, really confused, not understanding what he's saying. Because it's just gibberish. He's like, Andy, do you want to get do you want to get a burger? I do want to get a burger. And his name is Josina. Like, what? Doesn't even make sense, Andy. So to the point where one person next to next to us just went, "Is this an in joke?" And I was like, "No, he's just being a dickhead." <laughs> <laughs> we were too drunk to realise what was happening. But everyone wants to know: Did the streak end? I can confirm. It did not, now. Can you imagine why when you're telling everyone to take the fish? Right, here's the thing. I remember I wasn't that drunk, right? Drunk. When we got really... to one of the places, like the final place. And I was like, I'm not that drunk. This is great. And then your girlfriend was like, hey, uh, you owe me a drink. And I was like, oh, goody, it's going to go well. Because I know what she likes to drink. So I immediately go to the bar and I go, do you want Jägermeister? She's like, no, that's disgusting. Why would I want that? I'm like, great. Uh, do you want uh, uh, a beer? No. Uh, oh, God, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Uh, fireball whiskey. Yeah, yes. I love whiskey. Ah, oh, shit. And then I do it, and then immediately it just goes blank. And I'm like, no idea what happened. <laughs> I woke up, and I was like, great. Fucking brilliant. You were whacking your head against the seat in the bus for no reason and really, really hard. I need to the point where my, my, girlfriend, my girlfriend had to stop you because I, I was too busy laughing at you hitting your head stupidly hard. Against the seat. <laughs> basically, this is basically what I was doing. So this is a seat, my, one in my hands, and this is a seat, the other hand. I just kept doing this because I'm an idiot when I'm drunk. Yes. I'm a moron. I can't try to kick me in the nuts. That uh... Yeah, I may have tried to kick him in the, in the crown jewels, but, you know, whatever. And then when he missed, I stood up and I just leaned over him and I just said, you're not going to do that again, are you, Andy? And I just went, no. You just went, <laughs> no. <laughs> that was literally what happened. But nevertheless, it was good fun. Sadly, the streak is still intact. He's got six days before the big 1000. Let us know if you think it's going to be broken or not. You've no, got to leave a no, comment no, below, please. leave a Facebook comment, tweet at us, whatever. Wherever there's a comment, whether you, wherever you can interact with us, leave a comment. Do you think the streak's going to be broken in, in a couple of days? No. No. Anyway, speaking of comments... See, that's how you do a segue, Andy. Speaking of comments, we have comments. Shall we take a look? Okay, so uh, we're trying to get comments from different videos because we've had so many technical cock-ups and problems and God knows what else. So, we'll start with... Uh, Can I read this one out because it's aimed at Andy? Can I read this out? Yes. Okay. Now, this is from Heartbreak Kid 101 which Andy's having a little, uh, little bit of a feud with this girl. Feud. Uh, it's not a feud. A little bit of feud. It's not he, a feud. What, what did you say to her last time? I think you told her to fuck off. No, basically what happened was you guys kept egging me on about this co-host search thing. And then she, she, didn't said, she said... Co-host uh, search? What? We haven't done that in like nine years. Co-host of the year award. There so you go. basically, um, you guys were egging me on about it. And I remember she said that Carmine was her favorite uh, host. But... Here's hurt a little bit. I'll be honest, hurt a little bit, but all right. <clears throat> but to be fair, you kept going on and on and on about Carmine winning to the point where yeah. I did. I wasn't even really even paying that much attention, and I just heard Carmine is the best host, and I was like, "Shut up!" So we also have Heartbreak Kid One Hundred One. Congratulations, Carmine, my favourite co-host. Woohoo! Shut the um, fuck up. Shut up. Anyway. She decided to, right, we don't care about you anymore. She okay. decided to respond. She responded with, STFU, Andy. At first I thought you were funny, but now I realise that you're just a butt-hurt arsewipe who gets his cereal pissed on daily. God, you're so rude. Would you care to respond? I'll give you the floor. Okay. You may respond. <clears throat> yes, I may have overreacted. Um... 
in my defense, they were egging me on to do a reaction like that. Uh, if I've offended you or annoyed you in any way, shape, or form, I'm sorry. So Andy's gone from a butthurt arsewipe to a pussy, basically. I'm not a pussy, I just... Well, I'm sorry, I really don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. I can't win then, can I? On a scale of 1 to 7.5, asks Aaron Walker, let's talk about Tyler Breeze. Let's not, Aaron Walker. Oh, we let's talk... get asked that so many times. We're not talking about Tyler Breeze. Why no. is it 7.5? I don't really know. I I can't remember. Is that a joke that we said? Because I don't even remember. I don't know if it's a reference to the 5 out of 7 thing on the internet. I don't know. but Let's talk about Tyler Breeze. Let's talk about Tyler Breeze. But no, what we can talk about. Sam left a comment on our latest video that we did, me and Andy, where we reviewed AJ Styles' TNA theme. You are, you are. I am, I am. Sam writes, I've never heard of this theme until today. Ignorance truly is bliss. Hashtag New Japan is better. You know what? Ignorance is bliss. It really so, is. So, thank you to everyone who commented. Don't forget to leave more comments below. Let us know, again, do you think the streak's going to end? Just talk to us. Why not? And next week, starting next week, we're going to be offering prizes for the, uh, for the comments. <gasps> what? Ooh. Prizes? That's right. If you leave a comment and we read out, that means you have won. A Supla t-shirt for the low, low price of £16. Not including postage and packaging. <laughs> so, which you can get all of our stuff at redbubble.com forward slash the Supla. Please buy our things. <laughs> that doesn't sound desperate at all. I'm poor. <laughs> anyway, enough of the plugs, enough of the advertising. Let's get to the news, which is what everyone's here for. What has been happening in the world of wrestling, Andrew Quan? Well... WrestleMania is right around the corner because we're in WrestleMania season. And I uh, have. I have. The plan matches as of when we, are, when we are recording this. We have. This is this is the 3rd of February that we're recording this. Yes. So it is the WWE Champion. The Gamer. Chibicha. Against Roman Reigns. Brock Lesnar versus Bray Wyatt. The Undertaker versus Braun Strowman. The Divas champion Charlotte will take on Becky Lynch and Sasha Banks. But you have to realize that there are uh, several changes to this card, as John Cena, Seth Rollins, Randy Orton, Daniel Bryan, and Nikki Bella are out with injuries. There's talk of Shawn Michaels appearing at the event. Well, he is from Texas, but he's not going to be wrestling. And at one point, there were plans of having Michaels to be the special guest referee for the Triple H. Referee. Referee for the Triple H uh, and Reigns match with Vince McMahon in uh, Triple H's corner and The Rock uh, in Reigns' corner. Uh, but bear in mind, these are plans as of now, and good God almighty, WWE could change them at any point. But as of well, right now, we... this is Sorry. what they think will sell out WrestleMania. Well, speaking of changes, there was actually, because you said about Shawn Michaels potentially being the special guest referee, there was actually talk this past week from, I think, SmackDown was in Tampa. Uh, Batista lives in Tampa, and he went and visited SmackDown backstage. He didn't appear no. in the camera. And he was actually offered the position of special guest referee for the main event of WrestleMania, and he turned it down. He's, so He's got better things to do. He's got Guardians of the Galaxy 2 to film, and the new yes. James Bond film, and whatever. So what well, he's problem? filmed that. It's already out. Oh. There you go. I thought but, he was... Is he in the new a bit, one? A bit behind. You're about a year behind. No, he's in the new one, spoilers. How do you know this? Because I'm a genius. Uh, you're just making shit up. Anyway, so, yes, everything can change. Everything will change. Uh, God forbid there's any more, you know, accidents or injuries or people returning, people leaving. Please, and- God, no more injuries, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Anything can happen between now and whenever WrestleMania is, late March, early April. Anything can happen. Yeah. So, with what we know, we knew with Fastlane, we knew that Roman Reigns was going to go to face uh, Triple H at, at WrestleMania. But this, this, this is the thing that I have an issue with. And I just want to go to Fastlane for a second. Okay. Because um, we're, we're on the road to WrestleMania. You may as well talk about the road. Yes. So, the main event, 
uh, fast lane, as it is like pretty much every year, is a number one contenders match for the spot at WrestleMania. Always seems to be. Last year it was, this year it was. Um, but this year it's Roman Reigns versus Dean Ambrose versus Brock Lesnar. Okay, so we have this triple threat match. How do you book this match in a way that doesn't fuck anybody over? And I, I mean this by, we know Roman's going to win, but who, who's going to take the pin here? We, it's either got to be Lesnar... It's Dean Ambrose. Ambrose. The problem I have with Dean Ambrose taking the pin, though, is that he's the Intercontinental Champion. Right. Doesn't that kind of diminish the belt a little bit if he gets pinned? And Doesn't it that gets... technically mean that Roman Reigns automatically qualifies as the number one contender for the Intercontinental title? Or are we just forgetting all the rules that WWE has made out in the past couple of years? I mean, the issue is is that... And not only that, I mean, the issue is if you keep fucking this guy over... Um, like, Dean Ambrose should have won the belt at Money in the Bank last year, or wh- whatever pay-per-view it was, and lost. Um, he was supposed to... I mean, he's had so many just... Lost. Big matches, big matches. That yeah, to lost. the point where like he's only just lost it. We've been fucked over by the authority or something like that. You can only do that so many times before people are going to get bored. And I feel like right now this is the, not, probably. The, I don't think it's. I, th- I don't think it's that. I think it's the. I, I like to think of it as a Dolph Ziggler effect. Dolph Ziggler is a former world heavyweight champion. In fact, he's technically a two-time world heavyweight champion. Um, and you look at what he is now. You look at his position. You look at the Miz's position. Uh, these are former world champions. The Miz main evented and won a WrestleMania main event. Right. Um, and you look at what they are at the moment, where they are in the cards. And I understand that positions are flexible. They vary. You might be in the main event for a couple of months and then go to the mid card, kind of like what happened with Reigns. Last summer, he was in the mid card again. And I get that. And you need that because you need fresh faces for the main event. But the problem is Ziggler has just kind of been doing nothing. The same with Miz for a long time. And I think it's because they get booked really weakly. Again, look at The Miz in the main event of WrestleMania 27. They didn't really care about that. They just wanted to hype Cena and Rock. That's what it was about at the end of the day. And so Miz kind of got shat on a little bit. And it's kind of had a negative impact for the rest of his career, in my opinion. The same with Dolph Ziggler. He had a world title reign that lasted less than a day. Then he gets given a new chance with the belt... He gets knocked out by Jack Swagger. He's never really come back. When they get made to look weak, I don't think creative suddenly has any faith in their own creation anymore. And that's my only worry. I think Ambrose can be a big big star main eventer. But if he keeps being booked to eat the pin here, I don't think it's it's not going to have a... And especially with him being the intercontinental champion. Not only is it going to have a negative impact on Reigns, but I think... It makes the Intercontinental title picture look weak. And, I mean, I'm kind of, I'm kind of hoping. And I'm saying this is. I genuinely think Ambrose is the strongest Intercontinental champion we've had in a very, very long time. Yeah. But I do think that he's, if he eats the pin, well, he's got to. They're not going to let Lesnar eat the pin. Well, no, Lesnar's going to get carried off and by the Wyatt family. That's what's going to be done, and then then that's going to happen. Yeah. So you've only got two people left, and Roman Reigns, he has to win. Like, I, I mean, I kind of wish that this Bray Wyatt Brock Lesnar thing weren't happening, because then maybe Brock could take the pin. Um, but the thing is, by the way, what a waste of fucking Brock Lesnar if he fused with Bray Wyatt. Yeah. What a way! Okay, let's let's go through a history of Jeff Bray Wyatt, right? Let's go through a history of this fucking idiot, right? So right. he loses to Cena at, at WrestleMania 30. 30. Loses to Taker last year. What in the fuck is the point in this? Like he's going to lose again. Bray Wyatt is not going to beat Brock Lesnar. Not going to fucking happen. So what a waste! What a waste of this guy. Yeah, I don't like, see what, what a what. Wa- Brock is the most over guy they have. I don't see the positive. I don't see why they're putting these two together. Now, speaking of Lesnar, we kind of have to talk about matches kind of related to it. Right. Undertaker versus Strowman. 
everyone seems to be hating this, and I'm I'm not that hateful about it. Are you fucking crazy? I'm not, right? Because I stop, think there's a potential. Stop drinking. Now listen, right? I think there's a potential way to save this. No, there ain't. But get what? No, no, no. Listen to me. Listen to me, right? Okay. I genuinely think there's a potential way to save this in a way that, to me, would kind of maybe not make a hundred percent sense, but is a way that I think would patch it better together. So, we have Lesnar, who has history now with the Wyatts. We have Undertaker, who has history with the Wyatts. Bray Wyatt cannot win a match by himself. We've seen that at the past two WrestleManias, right? There's no point sticking him in a singles match. Why don't they make this a tag team match? Then you've got that insane moment at WrestleMania where Undertaker has to team with the guy who beat him uh, to destroy, de- destroy his streak. He's teaming with the guy, the only man to ever beat him at WrestleMania, to take down a bigger threat in the Wyatt family, who has basically just ran havoc on Undertaker, his quote-unquote brother as well, and Brock Lesnar. That would be my idea. It's not a bad idea. I just don't like... I think it's the best possible idea that you can get from the situation we're in. Mm. <laughs> I, I prefer that over this this fucking... I think it makes more sense. And then you've got that interesting dynamic of they're at the same stage where they fought each other and Undertaker lost. Can they actually trust each other? Like, you have got that interesting dynamic between Lesnar and Undertaker. Can they join together and beat the Wyatt family? I mean, now we know that they can because they will. It's, it's the Undertaker and Brock Lesnar. There's no way both of them are going to lose. And there's no point doing a singles match because it's pointless. There's no streak anymore. So that's the other thing. There's no streak. Why? There's no streak anymore. There's nothing really on the line for the Undertaker. I mean, I don't know how in the scenario that I set up. I don't know how you can bring Undertaker into it that would make sense. Um. Because there's no way to bring The Undertaker in and have it make sense. No way at all. It doesn't make sense. What's he going to do? Just be like, hi, I'm at Raw. Oh, no, the Wyatt's attacked me. Okay, guess I'll have a match. But he's already decimated. This is the thing as well. Like, he and Kane had a match at Survivor Series where they just annihilated the Wyatt family. What's the point in infuriating with a Wyatt member? It just it doesn't really make He beat just Bray generally... last year and then annihilate them at Survivor Series. What's the fucking point doing it now? None of it really makes sense, let's be honest. Okay, here's the thing. I would rather see no Undertaker at this year's WrestleMania because it was pointless last year, absolutely pointless. And if he, if he was supposed to retire and face Cena this year, just save it for next year. Fuck it. I don't know what else really to add. Like, what? You can't. Oh, he's from Texas. No, he's not. Cafab says he's from the middle of a desert in Nevada, Death Valley, right? That's where he's from, right? He's from the ground. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't matter, because in Kayfabe, he's not actually from Texas. So if he's not driving around in a fucking motorcycle, there's no fucking point saying he's from Texas, right? <laughs> so fuck it. Don't. Don't even allow him to be at WrestleMania. The first year, he's not even there. And everyone's like, where the fuck is he? Then he comes back next year, brrr, interrupts Bong, interrupts John Cena or something. Done. Retire there and then. Just don't, don't, don't even come back. Don't even come back. I don't even want Undertaker there because he's nine hundred years old, and not only that, like it's pointless. You killed the one thing, the one fucking reason he's there. You got rid of it. There's no point. Don't even have him there. The only other match that they've kind of started leading towards is Charlotte versus Becky Lynch versus Sha- Sasha Banks, uh, which have kind of started teasing only this past week on Raw, mm. um, where, you know, Team B- Bad kind of split up and then Sasha turned babyface and Becky saved her. And yeah, so it seems like this is the angle they're going. I'm glad for once it's not a match involving the Bella Twins. Now, I get that they have Total Divas and they've got, to, they've got to make, you know, material for that. And this is my problem with WWE at the moment. There's so much going on that, you like, okay, so Total Divas is 
is not in kayfabe, but it's a kayfabe of its own. It's like a kayfabe within kayfabe that's masquerading as real life, but it's not real life. Okay. And then you've got fucking, you've got Road Trip, the new Road Trip show, and you've got Dolph Ziggler and The Miz in a car talking to each other, and it's supposed to be a five-hour, you know, journey, and then they're feuding with each other, and Renee Young brings it up on the Raw pre-show, and she's like, Miz, uh, not Miz, you're Dolph Ziggler, sorry, it's, <laughs> I, you look a bit like Tyler Breeze, I'm getting confused. Anyway. Hey, let's talk about Tyler Breeze. <laughs> so, she's like, so the new show's debuting and you're with The Miz, but you don't like The Miz. And Dolph Ziggler's like, yeah, I had to do it for the show. This is a problem with WWE at the moment. They're, they're, they're stuff that they're creating. If it was just treated like the JBL uh, chat with Legends, if it was just treated as, yep, everything that we do in the ring is a storyline, Raw is a storyline, SmackDown is a storyline, we get it, that's it, you know, we're all good then that would be fine. Like, we could say, you could say, this is behind the scenes. And they just never mention it in WWE programming, right? That would be fine. I'd be happy with that. But the fact that they're mentioning things like Total Divas and Road Trip and these shows that are meant to be behind the scenes and not in kayfabe, but are actually now technically in kayfabe, why are you mentioning it? Why? Right? Sorry, this is a whole different rant, but I just don't get why they do it. Yeah, I... They kind of want to appeal to smarky people, which is like 90% of wrestling fans at this point. But then they kind of have kayfabe. I don't get it. You no, do I'm one not... or the other, goddammit. Yeah, I, I, I get that you have Total Divas. Let's use Total Divas as the main thing, because that's what led us to this conversation. I get you have Total Divas, WWE. I do, right? It's a show that you need to market, even though it got less than a million viewers in the last episode, I believe. It's fine. I get you've got a show to do. Okay. But this show is supposed to be real life, okay? Some of these characters are going by their real names. Not like Paige, whose real name is real. No, she's still Paige in the show. But then you've got fucking Trinity, whose real name is... No, she's Naomi, but she's going by her real name. Trin- like, this is what I mean, okay? You don't know... Like, pick a path. Is this real? Is, are you portraying this as real or are you portraying it as kayfabe? Because if you're portraying it as real, why are you mentioning it on kayfabe? Why are you running a promo for Total Divas where it shows Paige and Alicia Fox saying that they're best friends and then suddenly they're fighting in the ring the next week? Why is that a thing? Why are you doing that? It, it messes with the mind. It's like the social media stuff. It, like When the wrestlers post on social media, are they in character? Or is that themselves being out of character? We don't know. They don't even know. That's why Lana tweeted about the engagement in the middle of a storyline where she's feuding with Rusev. And then they were like, oh, wait, it is all in kayfabe, so we have to scrap that storyline now. Thanks, Lana. Bye. Like, they, they don't know. Anyway, that's a whole different rant. Sorry. Yeah. I just had to get that off my chest. Becky Lynch, uh, Sasha Banks, Charlotte, I'm glad it doesn't involve the Bella Twins because they're always in a WrestleMania match or WrestleMania setup because they've got to film something for Total Divas. And I'm glad that that's not the case this time. Thank fuck for that. I mean, Nikki's out with an injury, for one. I mean, like... And there's not much you can do with Brie by herself. This could be know, The whole act... The whole could... act is that they're a double team. <laughs> and this, this match now could be match of the night. It, potentially. Potentially. Depending, depending on... on... Don't well, forget, they don't get given a lot of time. Yeah. Well, depending on our, uh, other matches that could appear... Liam, what other matches <laughs> do you think will appear? Or what would you like to appear... I think, genuinely, I think they could save AJ Styles versus Chris Jericho for a WrestleMania main event. Uh, not main event, but a WrestleMania rematch. Um, they've been teasing that they're, they're doing a friendly rivalry. And I think I could see it uh, leading all the way through to WrestleMania where them two steal the show, personally. Uh, as far as I'm aware, neither of those two have been given an idea or a storyline leading into WrestleMania. They might swap tracks and put AJ with Kevin Owens, which is why he got eliminated by Kevin Owens at the Royal Rumble. Who knows? Uh, but I could see Jericho, AJ, uh, a, a main, ev- well, not a main event uh, match, but a main event style caliber match. You know what I mean? Like a real sort of show stealing match. Like a, like a Chris Jericho, Shawn Michaels. Exactly. At that so, one yes. WrestleMania. 19, I believe it was. Um, I mean, ideally, I don't... Hang on, that was like 13 years ago. 
that hurts. Anyway, so I, 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 I'd rather not um, see Kevin Owens against AJ. It'd be a good match, don't get me wrong. Um, but Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens never really ended, really. Um, what a way to end it at mm. WrestleMania. Yeah. I mean, they would just, they would, they would, they would tear the fucking roof off the place. Like, it would just be the greatest thing ever. But do we think Sami Zayn is going to be put on the main roster anytime soon? Uh, I don't know. I mean, if you, if you want to bring him up, here's the perfect time, right? Because Kevin Owens is amazing. Sami Zayn... Mm-hmm. Finally beating Kevin Owens would be incredible. Mm. And you look at everything they did in Ring of Honor. I mean, it's not El Generico. He's gone to an orphanage. What am I talking about? Um, but if you look at every match that they have in NXT, um, the reaction at the Rumble alone and them to beating the shit out of each other during the match was incredible. <laughs> so in my opinion, you should go with that and have AJ feud with Jericho or Miz or someone, I don't know, just where AJ will win, clearly. Um, but just the fact that he's at WrestleMania is still mind fucking blowing. So I don't think it really matters who you stick him in there with. Um, I mean, I don't want to see Brock Lesnar uh, versus Bray Wyatt. I would rather see Brock Lesnar face somebody else. I don't know who. Maybe then if you don't have Sami Zayn versus Kevin Owens, fuck it, Kevin Owens versus Brock Lesnar. What a fucking match that would be. Um, that would make far more sense than against Bray Wyatt. Yeah, and the thing is, imagine the promos with, with Heyman and, and, and Owens when Brock ain't there. This shit writes itself. Just do it. Yeah. I mean, like, at, at this point, um, just this card isn't good. Like, it's not a good card. Uh, no, nah, come, come on, right. We say this every year. Well, every look, year look we at it. It's it. Undertaker versus Braun Strowman. Who gives a fuck about this card? It could be a lot worse. He could be against Eric Rowan. I would prefer that. No, actually, no. Why? Why not? Okay, of all the Wyatt family members, why do you go with the really large one? Why don't you go with Luke Harper? Because Strowman's bigger than him? No, but Luke Harper's better in the ring. He won't get knackered after about two minutes. Well, this is what I mean. This is why I might not make it a tag team match. Because then Strowman can, you know, tag in Briot. We've Briot? seen this in Survivor Briot. Series, but with, with Kane. So what's the fucking point? Because then it adds that new layer. Because he's teaming with Brock Lesnar. This is a whole different ball game. It's so uniquely different that it could only happen at WrestleMania. I I don't know. I I, I would prefer to um, hmm, maybe have Kevin Owens against Brock and then Taker just goes away, doesn't turn up, to be honest. Yeah, Taker, honestly, I get that he's like one, like he's supposed to be a selling point for WrestleMania and I get that. But the problem oh. is, with his streak now dead, he's got really no reason to be keep to keep showing up at WrestleMania. That's what I there's said. There's no early. reason now. Yeah, there's no point. And like, I don't, I don't care. He, he just exists. I don't, I don't care. Like, go away for a year, come back, then end it. At this point, like, I know he was kind of like on every single show. Like, he was at SummerSlam. He was at yeah. Survivor Series. He's at the Rumble. Well, that didn't make sense because he waited about a year and a half to have his uh, rematch against Brock Lesnar. Yeah, he's done kind of the... He weren't at the Rumble, I, I'm an idiot. But he was at everything else. So, no, just just wait another year. I mean, I don't see the point in having Taker there. Um, what do you think The Rock is actually going to do then? Because... He's the only one of the only announced people that are actually going to be there. He's not going to have a big role. No. I can tell you that much. He can't. He's doing a bunch of movies and shit. So he well, can't. it's not just that. The, the the segment that he had a couple of weeks ago made it sound like he was just going, to, like he wasn't going to show up again until WrestleMania. 
God almighty, that's awful. Because wasn't there talk about The Rock versus Triple H at WrestleMania? This year is meant to be. Well, he's not doing that because he's got more successful things to work on. Yeah, well, I mean, it's the same thing trying to get Batista involved. Like, no, I'm I'm doing things with my life. So Sorry, anyway. I'm doing a really successful film franchise. Yeah, Sorry, I'm, guys, bye. Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't like how it's looking right now. And again, anything can happen. Like, someone, Roman forbid, could get injured. Anyone could get hurt. Anything could happen in the next two months like it's april what, april 1st or something it's always the start so, of april uh anything can happen so again by the time this comes out we may look like idiots because it's completely changed or dave Meltzer says we're wrong i don't know but uh yeah i'm not look, looking forward to this year's mania like last year had one or two matches that may look good so far no but you say that every year I don't say... Well, that's because they do stupid things every year. And there's a lack of Ronda Rousey in this one, so... Get over it. She's not going to ever wrestle a match. Get over it now. Just get over it. Move on. Well, I feel like that's probably a good way to end the show. That is probably a good place to end the show. So, ladies and gentlemen, leave us your comments in the YouTube comments below or on the website wherever we have comments you know what do you want me to do this bit because i can do this what the outro yes i'm actually i actually can do it okay go on then there we go right so comment below what are your wrestlemania predictions what do you think of the wrestlemania card tell us below and also go to suplo.com for the broadcast and mp3 downloads of this very same show visit wrestlepundit.com for the latest news and rumors in wrestling find us on itunes search our name and you will find us please rate our things as five stars and leave comments it helps the algorithm and shit and you like us on facebook for years, okay follow us on twitter and instagram it's the same name everywhere else and everything if you can't understand a word i'm saying is in the description for you so i have been andy quad you wonder why we gave you the uh the, the super award for feud of the year with the english language shut up i have been liam dunn and we will see you next time. Hopefully, if this show goes up, because fucking technical issues can go fuck themselves, I am, and goodbye. <laughs>